Hello, good morning. This is Eric Lehman and welcome to a mobile edition of Morning Has Broken and I Don't Want to Fix It. It is a really nice, almost even cool morning here in San Diego, California. And uh, I'm just present to, um, well, just to, to really put it out there, uh, the energy around September 11th and what it what it really means and what it really meant and um, what possibility it created. Um, and, you know, I, I've often, probably even before September 11th, and I'm not too sure about this, uh, I believe that when, when you get a big challenge um, in your life, it's, it's almost like someone saying, like God saying that you're ready for this, you're ready to handle this, you're ready to grow or live into this, this existence. Um, so when, when September 11th hit, 11 years ago, 11 years ago, um, I think it was really, uh, it was time for us to, to experience a different us. And I think that was really an important moment for for our collective understanding of what it means to be part of a larger community than perhaps we were engaging in before. Um, you know, I just I really felt like um, like some of the stories I got to hear were were amazing, and, and I mean, some of the stories I remember hearing around that time were how some people felt guided to actually miss their flight, the flight that would have had them on a plane that would have, would have crashed into a building. It's almost surreal. It is surreal, and yet it's real. You know, those, those days following the phone calls when they got through, when we confirmed who made it and who didn't, when we heard the stories of, of family members whose offices had the, you know, the tower view of of what was going on. I think it was it was really really significant and um, it was just a, a in a way you know I I don't want to be overly Pollyanna about something that is painful, you know. Um, I think what was amazing about the pain that we experienced as a nation and as a world is that perhaps the pain didn't didn't turn in, into suffering as much as it might have if we we experienced the pain alone or with the feeling that we were alone. You know the the beautiful part about September 11th and, and what followed is that there was a deeper sense of community that at least I internalized and a lot of the people around me felt. So, you know, I'm just, I'm really wondering what what's possible now, you know, now that we've healed well, not that we can ever fully heal from that sort of pain. And maybe we can. Maybe I, maybe I limited it. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it's possible to fully heal. Maybe that's, that's what we get to do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm present to the, the thought of forgiving and forgetting. And, um... You know, maybe, you know, there are a lot of people who say, 
you know, I might be able to forgive, but I'll never be able to forget. And there are some people who say, you know, if you don't learn history, then it'll repeat itself. You know, then it might happen again. You know, I grew up with Jewish lineage, and, and I, I was always told to remember the Holocaust. Keep it alive so that it doesn't happen again. Um, it's kind of kind of an interesting term right now because there are a lot of people who are still killing other people. Um, and, and the Holocaust is not a faint memory, you know. Um, and, and still we're using different really extreme measures to um, to settle uh, conversations, disputes, just misunderstandings. Uh, you know, some of it obviously in the land of Israel involves God and disputes over that obviously, you know, might not ever be able to be settled on this plane. And, and maybe that's perfect for those who want to continue uh, to, to wage war around something that can never fully be settled on this, on this earth. So, um, so I'm, I'm just present to all of it, like, you know, like the fact that, um, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, what, what those who survive September 11th, all of us, what it means for us to be able to do that and and what changed you know I know I changed I know I didn't necessarily fully like looking at the guy in the mirror around then and I hoped to to change a good bit so that um, the father I was becoming you know could be more Good morning. I'm supposed to close the gate. Are you? I'm not let anybody oh, okay. in. I guess in the last minute. I'm going with the volunteers. Oh, okay. So they're supposed to close the gate. Got it. For some reason. Understood. Thank you. Thank you.